Hey guys, Editing Stacy here. I just wanted to pop on before I start this video to let you guys know that the first dress that I try on in this video, it's a green maxi dress. When I was looking at that dress inside my house, in my mirror, my normal setup that, you know, I would get dressed in front of and, and check my outfits to make sure, you know, things are in the proper places and things are concealing. Inside, I could not see my firearm at all. It looked like it was concealing beautifully. And even outside while I was filming, in whatever light we were having at the time, it still looked like it was concealing to me. Even as I was looking at my outfit in my camera, it looked like it was concealing. I didn't notice it at all. Until I started to edit this video and I put the footage in my computer and watching it back, it shows. You can see the whole outline of my SIG. It looks terrible and I would not wear that dress out with that setup. Um, I'm awfully glad that I went outside and I filmed that clip because otherwise I would have been walking around thinking everything looked great and it did not. I want to go ahead and leave that clip in also because I want you guys to see just how differently things can look from indoors and outdoors or on cameras or different lighting and to encourage you guys to double and triple check to make sure things are the way you want them to be in your outfit. I'm leaving the dress in. I'm going to be gushing about it. I'm going to be saying how great it is, but it's all lies <laughs> and now I know better. So anyway, on to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Stacy. It is a super hot gross muggy day in Virginia today and so I wanted to wear a dress something loose and comfortable and I was going through my closet looking at all of the dresses I have most of my stuff is pretty old and it's things that I have not tried with the Enigma holster yet different kind of styles of dresses so I thought I would make a video showing you guys how the Enigma works in different types of dresses I've done a video similar to this one already. I will leave a link to that down below if you're interested in other dress styles. I just wanted to show you guys how the system works in all different kinds of outfits, you know, give you more options for your concealed carry. So let's get into this. So this first dress that I'm wearing is a maxi dress. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Uh, the fabric is pretty thin, it's stretchy. Um, there's a lot of it. It has these uh, pleats here in the front, has pockets, gotta have some pockets. And it is quite long, it goes all the way down to the ground. So I've got the Enigma on, it's right here. Um, and this is how it is concealing in this type of dress and material and whatnot. I think for concealability, it's doing a great job. Um, every now and then you can kind of maybe get a little bit of something right here, but because of these pleats, honestly, I think it blends in really well. I don't think anybody would know what this is. Certainly don't think they would think you're carrying a firearm. So for concealability, I think this maxi dress works great. The only issue I have with something like this is um, how much material you got to deal with to get to your firearm. And from practicing, I think the best thing that works for me is just kind of reaching down and grabbing it from the bottom and pulling up. I think that's faster than trying to grab, you know, from the top and pull up all this material. I am wearing um, some shorts <laughs> underneath my dress, so um, I'm keeping things covered. So just to show you, um, I do have the system on and this is my SIG uh, 365 XL. Uh, but that is how it looks under the dress. So again, I think it's pretty great for concealability. You do have to practice quite a bit before going out in an outfit like this. I would definitely work on the draw a lot and get used to it. Um, like I said, I would bend down and pull all the way up. That's just my opinion. You might find a better way that works for you. So I'm gonna go change and I will show you the next style of dress. Okay, I'm back and now I've got on a t-shirt style dress. And I gotta say, I initially put one on that was a solid color. It was just uh, gray, it was just plain gray, and it did not conceal well at all. Something about the way this style of dress or this fabric drapes, 
um, the whole thing just stuck out really bad. You could definitely tell what I was wearing under my dress. It was very obvious, but I have this striped one also, and I know that patterns always help with um, concealment. And so this one definitely does work. I could wear this out and feel comfortable. So here is this one. Um, like I said, t-shirt dress. It's very um, soft, cottony material. It's, yeah, these stripes are doing a lot for concealment. You really can't tell that there's anything there. I personally am not a big fan of stripes on me and I've never even worn this dress. It still had the tags on it and I've had it in my closet for several years. Yeah, I just don't think stripes are um, great on me, but I just wanted to show that it does help with this style of dress. So if you have a t-shirt dress with any kind of pattern on it, really, I think that would make all the difference. So here it is under the dress this dress because uh there's a lot less fabric and it's a lot shorter than the last one it's definitely easier to get to my firearm so yeah for concealability and for ease of getting to my weapon i think this is a great option i just don't love me in this dress all right i'm back and uh, my hair is definitely getting more um frizzy <laughs> as i keep coming outside every time i come outside i'm like trying to calm it down a little bit because it's just so humid out here. It's really gross. Also, I have a neighbor who's shooting right now, so you might hear that in the background. That's always cool. But this is what I've got going on right now. Um, I guess this would be like a halter style dress. I'm not really sure what this is. I got this from uh, TJ Maxx a few years ago. So yeah, this one comes to just above my knees, so it is quite easy to get to my firearm. So I love it for that. Um, it also has a pattern here. It also is slightly pleated. It's not as pleated as the maxi dress I had on, but this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, I don't think you can tell that I am carrying. I really like how well this conceals. I do feel a little poochy in this area. Um, anytime I'm carrying, I feel like I have, you know, a pooch going on and I feel like it sticks out. I feel like everybody can see it. But honestly, it doesn't show up in real life the way it feels, if that's making any sense. It's kind of just in my head, I guess. So yeah, I would wear this to a 4th of July party or fireworks or a summer cookout, whatever. I would feel totally comfortable wearing this. Um, nobody's going to know. <laughs> it's a great option. So yeah, guys, uh, still overall, I am just really impressed with this whole Enigma system. It is working really well for me. I'm still kind of surprised every time I put this on because it looks like a torture device, but it does not feel like one. <laughs> I'm just kind of convinced that I'm not going to like it every time I put it on, but then I'm pleasantly surprised at how much I like it. So anyway, guys, I hope y'all found this video somewhat helpful. Um, I hope y'all are having a great day and I will see y'all soon. Bye.